Hey guys, how you doing? It's Harry here again. It's Sunday, it's car boot day. I went to two car boot sales this morning and I managed to get a decent little haul of items to resell for a profit. Let's just jump in and show you what I've got. Up first, I see these every now and then, but never really pick them up. I bought this one today because I thought I'd give it a go. We've got like this drawing set here. It's not super old, and the more vintage older ones sell for a fair bit of money. But I picked this up because it looked pretty much nigh on all complete there. As you can see, it looks pretty much all complete, doesn't it? Got a brand on there, Bofa, or I don't know, and I typed in this code up here. It came up online. They seem to be up for sale between, you know, 10 and £40. So a real mixture of prices there. I only paid £5 for this, so for £5, I think I'll make a decent bit of profit. I'm going to hope to get about £20, but we'll see what happens. Box has a little bit of wear, but I think that's just standard for something like this. But yeah, for a fiver, I think this was definitely worth picking up. Up next, got this job lot of jewellery here. I paid, well, it's jewellery and all sorts of bits and pieces. I bought this for £10, just because I do like a little mystery bag every now and then. I like to take a little gamble, because you never know what you're going to find in something like this. So I paid £10 for this. It'd be interesting to go through. I'll probably do a separate YouTube video going through this. And hopefully we find some treasure in there or at least £10 worth of costume jewellery to resell for a profit. But yeah, for a tenner, I thought that was worth a bit of a gamble. Up next, I bought a fair few golf bits and pieces today. So we've got some balls here. We've got a hat, a visor and i'm not going to get it all on camera but i got this tailor-made driver here a little bit old a little bit used but still not too bad condition considering but yeah so the driver here i paid about eight yeah it was eight pound i paid for the driver and i should hopefully get about 20 pounds selling this on facebook marketplace thereabouts it's golf season now people are upgrading their clubs from like beginners to a bit better so something like this should sell quite easily. Yeah, I'm getting tongue tied. Should sell quite easily for twenty pounds. So for eight pounds, that was quite a good pickup. Should be an easy sell as well. Next up, the hats here. Probably paid a little bit too much for these. I paid five pound for the pair. So we've got this ladies visor here, tailor made. I think I should get between five and ten pound for that on eBay plus postage. And then we got this tightless hat here. It's a little bit worn. I need to see if I can clean it up a little bit. But that'll be, again, it'll be about five to ten pounds. So hopefully double our money with a little bit more on these. We'll see about that. And then we've got some golf balls here. We've got these Callaway CXR Power ones. And then these Wilson Ultra here. Now, picking these up at the car boot sale are quite good. I paid one pound for this set and two pound for this set here. If you're buying these brand new, just a sleeve like this, you're looking around 10 to 20 pound per sleeve, depending on you know, the brand. You can obviously get a lot cheaper as well, but you want to look for certain brands. But yeah, I picked these up and I'll give these to my dad because he's always playing golf and he's always losing golf balls. <laughs> so yeah, little gift for the dad there. So all good on that front and should make some profit on the other bits. Next up, one video game here for the Nintendo Switch. I paid £9 for this, which was probably a bit too much. I think it sells between £10 and £15 on eBay. But it is in box, it's there. So that's good at least. But yeah, £9 paid. Hopefully it's a good working condition. I'll test it out and see if it works. And yeah, hopefully I'll make a little bit of profit on it. But probably did pay a bit too much on this one, unfortunately. Next up, something I don't really buy that often because I don't really know much about it. But we've got some Pokemon cards here, and we've got quite a few, truth be told. So we've got this collection here, we've got two full tins, we've got these smaller tins here, with a few cards in, and then we've got this box here, with a fair few cards in. And I bought this because it was off a house clearance person, it looks like they got it from an auction, looking at the sticker on here. So who knows what's going to be in here. I doubt there's going to be anything super rare or valuable, but there might be a few five to ten pound cards or something like that, which would be good. And then the rest I'll just have to sell them for bulk. But yeah, 
£20 paid for all this. It's going to be interesting to go through. I will do a separate video on this and I will butcher half the names of these Pokemon and probably not know what a clue I'm looking at, but I'll go through it anyway because I'm always interested to know what I get in this kind of bundle. £20, worst case I can get my money back quite easily, but hopefully we can find some decent stuff in here and hopefully make a good bit of profit. But yeah, that's the Pokemon cards. And last but not least, we're going to finish up with the watches. A few watches from this week, nothing super valuable, but some nice little watches here and there. So up first, we've got this Limit watch here in the box. Hopefully it just needs a new battery, should be an easy change. £4 paid, should sell between £10 and £15 rather easily for me. So we've got that one there. Next up, 50p for the little Casio watch here. In working order, unfortunately broken strap, but for 50p, I think that was a good buy. I'm not really sure what it will sell for, but I imagine probably just about £5 thereabouts. I might have a spare strap kicking around. I'll have to look through my box of bits. But yeah, I thought that was quite a good pickup for 50p. It's got that one there. Next up, went to a stall and it was free for £5. So we've got this little lot here. None of these are working. So hopefully with a new battery, they'll be in good working order. Up first, we've got this Pulsar here. Not too bad looking little watch. Then we've got this Loris here. Not too bad. And then we've got this one here on the leather strap. I'm not really too sure. I just thought it didn't look too bad. I only picked this one up to make it around £5. Because they were £2 each or free for a fiver. So I thought I'd pick that one up. I think these two here should, if they're working, be an easy £10 to £15 each. And then this one here, I'll have to do a bit more research, but worst case, I can probably sell it for a fiver. So we've got that one there. And last but not least, the best watch I found today, well, the best brand one, shall I say, not in the best condition, and I paid a bit much for it. But we've got this Seiko watch here. We're missing part of the strap, which is a bit annoying. It also needs a new battery by the looks of it. And it's not in the best condition, as you can see. But yeah, it's a fairly good brand they do sell for me even in condition like this i paid nine pound which was a bit much really but i think i'll get about 20 pound back for it on ebay i've sold them in this condition and got about that much back i might be able to get a little bit more if it's in good working order and if i can find a spare gold style link that will fit and look right but yeah nine pound i'm not going to lose money on it i'm going to make a bit of money on it it's just a shame it's not in better condition really but yeah, so some good buys from today's car boot sale. Nice little lot of watches, nothing super rare, but some easy money makers there. Nice golf club for a change, haven't had one in a while. It's golf balls from my dad, some hats here. It'll be interesting to see how well they sell and how well they clean up. Golf balls for dad. The drawing set here, it's going to be interesting to see how much this sells for and how quickly it does sell because I do see these every now and then and it's going to determine if I buy more or less of them depending on how well that one sells for. A big old bag of jewellery which I just love going through, love the mystery, looking through trying to find gold and silver. And then the big old Pokemon bundle which is going to be interesting to see what we got in there and hopefully we get some money out of that but we'll see. Anyway, thanks for watching this video, guys. If you like this video, please leave a like. Obviously, like I said, I'm going to do some more videos on what I've bought here today. If you're interested to see, for example, what's in these Pokemon cards, what's in this jewellery here, subscribe to my channel, check out my videos. Oh, big thanks to everyone who has subscribed recently. I've got over a 1,000 subscribers now, so I'm very happy with that. So thank you all very much for that if you have subscribed. And yeah, thanks again for watching, guys, and hopefully I'll see you in a future video. Bye for now.